Yeah, hello again. We're looking at the Jon Snow cholera death map, and we've done a few things so far. We've uh, done the data management, brought in the brought in the two different databases of the pumps and the deaths, and georeferenced the ghost map. You can see that on a previous video. That's in the description. And then we took that and we symbolized them in order to see better uh, the spatial patterns. And we also did a tabular analysis. And so so far. Through our spatial patterns of the symbols and the pat and the tabular analysis of seeing where just what streets the deaths are taking place on, both things are pointing to our hypothesis that the Broad Street pump is the pump that has the is transmitting the cholera disease. And so um, now though we're going to be moving on to do spatial spatial statistics, which is going to be a little bit more fun. So we're going to want to launch up Arc Toolbox, and Arc Toolbox is going to have all the different tools that we're going to want to use. Um, to do this and uh, also besides that we're gonna have to also turn on our spatial analyst extension and so we're gonna find that by going to the customize uh, customize menu and so when we go to the customize menu let's give this thing a little bit of time to you go to the extensions and then once you get to the extensions you're gonna want to turn on the spatial analyst extension and this is going to give you the uh, licensing for a lot of the, the spatial statistics that we're going to do uh, right now. Um, after that, you're going to go into the spatial statistics toolbox, which you're going to find here um, in your Arc toolbox. Remember, we found the Arc toolbox by clicking here. And then once we get there, we have all the different toolboxes. In the spatial statistics toolbox, we can look at the tool shelf um, called analyzing. I think it's analyzing. No. Mapping clusters. No. I'm looking for the directional distribution um, tool. I wish that these things would be a little bit, <laughs> a little bit cleaner to be able to find it. Uh, here we go, directional distribution. Uh, another thing that you can do if you have trouble finding some tools is uh, doing the um, geoprocessing menu, and you have there an option for search for tools. So if you know the name of the tool, you can find it that way. Uh, instead of going through the through the toolboxes, but we're going to go with the directional distribution um, tool, and this is actually a script, which is kind of interesting. So it's built off of other tools, but you can look here in the tool help that uh, basically it creates a standard um, ellipse of the points. And so we have here all of our points. We're going to weight them, and we want to get a ellipse that's going to encompass some percentage of the the points. And so if we go to the deaths feature class. And then we go, and we have to, you know, decide where we're going to export that out to. Uh, I have right now my ghost map geodatabase, which is which is fine. I'm just going to leave it. Um, and then the ellipse, I want to do one standard deviation. Whenever I say one standard deviation, that's going to encompass 67 percent, or you know, 68 percent of the um, of the cholera deaths that have taken place. And so what we're doing there is that we're going to take, it's going to map out where the mean center is, and then it's going to make an ellipse around that mean center, which is going to encompass where 67% of the deaths are taking place. You also have options for two standard deviations and three standard deviations. In our case, we want to find out one, because we want to find out where we can say the majority of deaths are taking place. For the weight field, we're going to want to choose the count, because it's going to be the number of deaths that, that have happened. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. It's going to run the script. And... We should get our results added into our table of contents once that's over. Um, a lot of times when this kind of stuff's going on, I like to see the results just to see what's going on. You can see here my current session. I have the directional distribution running, so at least I know it's running. Um, but it's running through its script now and creating that ellipsoid. So we're just going to give it a second now. And so now the um, process finished. You can see the green checkbox pops up. And there's our standard ellipse. Uh, it comes in kind of weird. Uh, maybe we change the uh, symbology to a fill color of yellow. And uh, we can even do some things that are cool, like add a transparency on it. So if I go over here to the properties and go into the um, display tab, I have your options set transparency and it's set it to 60%, kind of like we're highlighting the area. And but you can see here that basically the ellipse that encompasses where 67% of the deaths are taking place are right here in proximity to the Broad Street pump. It's really interesting to see the center so close, the center of the ellipse, to the Broad Street pump uh, whenever you look here. 
at the ellipse itself. And so the next thing that we might want to do is to go ahead and check out the um, the uh, mean center to see how good that is. And so if I go into the Arc Toolbox again, I can see that there's another script here called Mean Center. And what that's going to do is going to identify the geographic center or center of concentrations. And whenever you put the weight on there, again, that's going to be a center of concentrations. And so you have input and you're going to get a dot that's output. Uh, again, we're going to choose the deaths and then we're going to choose here where we're going to put that. I have that in my geo database, so I'm fine with that. And I'm going to put the weight as the count and then I'm going to go ahead and OK. And then that's going to run. And so as that's running, um, the output that's going to show up will be the center. Uh, you can see like the epicenter of where all the disease is taking place. And what's interesting about that is that here you can see how close it is to Broad Street. So both of these analyses we did where 67% of the deaths are taking place in standard ellipse and the mean center of, of the, the concentration of deaths are both pointing to the hypothesis that the Broad Street pump has something to do with this because they're both very close geographic proximity to where um, those things are where the death is taking place um, and so <clears throat> it's interesting we can even say how far let's measure that just to see for for fun how far did it get so in the measurement of the pump to the deaths we're only 25 meters off from the mean center of death so that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty close whenever you think about on the size of the scale of a city